Hi everyone, this is Norm from the Board Game Museum and I'm soon going to be joined by Vinny. And uh, today we are going to be talking about dinosaur board games. Uh, the plan I've got is we're going to take the games that we have out and we're going to show them to you. Now we don't obviously have every dinosaur game out there and there's some really great ones that probably neither one of us have. But if you have any that you would like to suggest us looking at, please feel free to leave them in the comments and we'll be more than happy to check them out. And here is Vinny. Hi, Vinny. Can you hear me? I'm Chip Montana. Yeah, how you doing, buddy? You can hear me okay. Okay, good. I'm okay. Uh, Chip on check. No, yeah, you're, you're great, man. Whoever says you're oh, different yeah. is uh, the lion. <laughs> I was having a... Okay, well, great. Okay, well, I was just... I just got on, and I just told everyone we were going to go ahead and get started, so... Anyway, we're talking dinosaur board games, and uh, I managed to find three that I've got. Um, and I know you, you probably got a, a lot of them because uh, you've had like what two thousand games in your collection or something like that. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> That's funny. Oh man, that's just it. It's just the whole thing. I like. I don't even think I count. I just I get them in the mail or I give them at the thrift shops or whatever garage sales. Mm -hmm. And that's it. I just belt them out. Yeah, I think the three I have, I bought one. Uh, well, one I found at a thrift store. And then the one I just got is a, a Kickstarter prototype that I just got. And we just played it last night. So I'm proud to say that I have three. What game uh, is that? It's this one. I'll show it to you. It's called uh, Dino Dodge. Oh, yeah. I saw the commercial for that one. You know, that uh, yeah. you're, you're uh, you know, like... um. What do you call this again? Your, your advert for it. Glad, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a cute, fun little game. Um, uh, it's uh, you, you're basically trying to dodge. You, you pick a dinosaur, and yeah, you're trying to dodge these meteors, and you're trying to like get your opponent under the meteor and try to eliminate them. That's cool. Well, it's pretty funny, but the dinosaurs each have like different abilities, and you've got different cards that you can play to move yourself, move the other dinosaurs, bump them and uh all sorts of stuff it kind of reminds me a little bit of forbidden island a little bit because like the tiles are you know starting to i get it cool. yeah so it's kind of like that same uh, game mechanism right it, it does in a way yeah but it's kind of it's funny it's kind of a funny little game <laughs> you're just trying to force your opponent it, it's, it's it's good it's a good little game I, I don't know how much i can talk about it since it's not available yet but i'm going to give it a good review for sure so uh, everybody knows you will yeah all right, man. Well, what do you got? What's what game you got to show? Uh, you, you got a few hours. <laughs> got time, yeah, yeah. Pick out. Uh, no, seriously, like, uh, cause um, I I just got off of work. I just like walked in like an hour ago or so. Same here. And uh, I I had some games ready, but then I had to go digging for some more. I had a shave. I just wanted to get it, you know, like uh, everything, like get myself ready and everything, you know, so. You know us, board game freaks, you know. We're all board game freaks out there. Um, I, I like to thank everybody who's watching. Norman's got a great show, Board Game Museum. Check it out always. As so you know. he knows his stuff. I, uh, I believe I do. I try to. <laughs> you don't need to try. You just do it, man. Thank I'm you. I'm telling you. Uh, I'll uh, start with anything, really. I mean, I, I, I managed to find old and new style games, you know. So I'm going to start out with – um. I, I don't have a top anything. I don't really do that because, you know, I got so many games and stuff. That I just don't want to like, you know, like, you know, not, not, for, nothing bad, you know, but uh, I respect everybody who's got a top 10 or a top this top that, right. but you know, I'm not tooting my own horn, but to, to top me in my collection with this stuff, it, it drives me batty just trying to, you know, roll with these dice and trying to figure out, what the heck I got in my collection anymore, you know? To, Some try. stuff I thought I still had, and then I uh, ate it. Yeah, I, I ate it. Yeah, I was so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't have any other food to get because I kept on spending my money on these games. Uh, what do you call it? Um, yeah, like I either, you know, bought, sell, or traded some stuff. Uh, you know, I, I, I had, uh, you know, a lot of gra garage sale finds, you know? Mm -hmm. But, um... I managed to find like pretty much all of them. So I'm just going to like 
go through whatever I got in any kind of order. These are just favorite games so that I like to just play. Whatever you got, that'd be that'd be perfect. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna start out with Dizzy Dizzy Dinosaur. Dizzy Dizzy Dinosaur. Okay. Yeah, it's a dinosaur. It's Dizzy, and it's a fun enough game for um anybody who's a fan of dinosaurs. I mean, especially kids. You know, when I when I was uh, younger, I was playing this game like crazy. I I I I played the wind up toy mechanism of this dinosaur. Uh huh. You know, off the board. You know, because I was just you know I, I was asking and asking for my birthday to get this game and i, I remember I, I i got this game you know and uh you know uh this isn't my copy from you know way back in the day but um it's a copy that i recently got you can probably get it i mean i don't know really but um i got my copy for at least you know i'm gonna just say 20 you know yeah and then you know you had to you know pay like you know a little bit of a shipping cost or something like that, but you know I mean it was worth it to me because it brought back a lot of nostalgia, you know I mean in in this game, you know you're just gonna be going around the board, and uh, you're gonna be uh, yeah, you know just um, winding up that dinosaur whenever you roll a dinosaur symbol, uh -huh. you're gonna be um, winding up the dinosaur toy. So dizzy dizzy dinosaur is gonna be going around trying to knock down um your tower of um player marker pieces that you're going to be you know having in, in the game going around in circles till you make it back to the center of the board which is the cave for safety you know huh. uh it's got that same gameplay a little bit as that hulk game and bulldog dozer in a sense so but wow. it, it, it's a fun game I, I i i recommend it you know for kids to play with their families with this game and Brothers, sisters, parents, guardians, grandparents, cats, dogs, whatever, <laughs> dinosaur pets like Dino, play the game. <laughs> it, cool. it, 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 it's fun. It's Did suspenseful too because you don't know where he's going to go and how he's going to hit. And, you know, it just, it, it, it's a lot of randomness and luck. So those are the kind of games that I like to play. Yeah. So yeah, that was a, uh, Pressman game, it looks like, uh, came out like in the 80s. Yeah. Um, that's cool. That's yeah, very cool. It, it, it's, it's great. I, I, I think, uh, you know, it was a big hit back then. I, you know, the commercial and everything, too. I used to sing it all the time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. How many dinosaur games do you figure you got now? I don't know. I mean, I want to try to fit it all in this video by talking, you know, short about each one. 2025. 2025. Okay, well, I and have I'm not talking about the year. We didn't make it there yet, but we will by the time getting done with all these games. <laughs> well, we'll get as many as we can. Uh, I got. Yeah. Two. This is my second one. Uh, you may have this one. This is a little called Dino Hunt Dice. A little dice. No. Game. You don't have this one. Okay. I'm trying to remember. Let me see that again. Yeah, Dino Hunt Dice. It's just a little. No, I never seen that. That's that's pretty cool looking. Yeah, it's from uh, the guy that made Munchkin. He designed the game. I like Munchkin. Munchkin's cool. And, uh, here's what the dice look like. Um, and uh, I'm trying to remember exactly. It's one of those oh, it's fat. games. Um, and it's a fun little game. Uh, my wife and I have played it. It's been a little while since we've played it, but it's a press your luck type of the game. Um, yeah. And it's. It, I don't remember much about the rules because it's been a while, but... It's a cool little game to get, and you know Steve Jackson. You know a lot of gamers know who he is. So I figured he made that because the canister looks the same like zombie dice, like yeah. that kind of canister. You know. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I think it kind of plays a little bit like zombie dice, but uh, it's, I got to get that. That looks cool. Yeah, it's a good. Thanks for game. showing me. Yeah. When did this come out? Uh, I don't know when it came. Out. Well, it's fairly recent, I guess, but it's a good little. Mm -hmm. game. All right, Vinny, you're up. Uh. I'm going to go with uh, living in the land of the lost, the board game. <laughs> and uh, in this game, you'll be um, going around trying to um, collect different cards, uh, mostly the diamonds. And uh, you got to make it to, to the time portal to get back home. So you got to, you know, watch out for um, Scarface. He's uh, the T-Rex 
that's going to be this is Scarface right here. I, I I'm trying to get with the Im, the the mirror image thing. <laughs> so uh, it's, you got to excuse fine, me. It's fine. Yeah. Right. You're good. So um, but it's cool because um, it's based on the uh, the Saturday morning TV show. Everybody probably used to watch this and have the toys back then and stuff, you know. And uh, it, it's a pretty hip game. I like it because it, it, it's fun. It's got, you know, the action adventure in it. And you'll be going into the pit where uh, the lead bad guy is. What, what's his name again? Uh, the leader, uh, Shung, the sleeve stack leader, as he attempts to trap you in his lair. And that happens a lot in the game. So that's that's probably one of the annoying parts in a sense because uh, Scarface might catch up to you and then you'll have to go into his pit or you might be going back and forth trying to get exact count. And when you do, that's when Scarface is going to probably catch up to you and uh, send you back to his pit. But in the interim of all this, you're going to be collecting the, di the diamonds. If you land on a space, you're just going to simply do what it says in the instructions. You know, uh, you get the trade cards. You get to, um, you know, just, you know, uh, collect the three power crystals and just make your way through the uh all the, the pitfalls What's, and obstacles in the game that that's what? basically it so it's kind of like a racing game spin huh. and move you'll also be doing what the spinner says you know What's and the uh so that's the best part is the spinner too because it, it tells you a lot about um you know like if you gotta if you escape or if you gotta stay there and go back whatever you know so it's really to the T, I think, in board game style, vintage style, in a vintage way, you know, really based on the old TV show that used to be on ABC Saturday morning. What's the uh, back of the box look like? There it is. Oh, wow. That's so th this is the track that you'll be going on, and then you'll be getting stuck at Scarface uh -huh. or Shung, and he's the uh, leader of the bad guy dinosaurs and stuff. But you'll be able to play as all the characters, and you're all trying to get, like, um, you got to collect the bridge in order to go across the bridge. Right. And then, um, you know, you got to collect the different equipment and stuff like that. So you got to escape through a time portal in the game, too. And there's just dangerous, um, you know, things that await you in every turn. So That's very cool. Yeah. And, and then, you know, Scarface and the head dinosaur monster guy they're both chasing you in the game so you gotta like escape you gotta have like a, like a battle i think i made a house rule for this but i forget what it was i gotta go back and see what my video said you know or what i said in the video but that that's basically it and they have another one from the 60s that's based on the old one and it's funny because uh jamie was um you know board game man he was uh you know singing the tune in the comments or something like that. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. And uh yeah, like um because I, I, I think I, I was singing a song in the beginning of the um my episode of this game. But this game is kind of like um the Buck Rogers game. Mm -hmm. Uh not the orange box one. There's the, the the one I reviewed, um it's the blue box Buck Rogers game. And uh there's no back to it, it's plain. But um it's pretty cool it's 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 a game of luck and all players are going to be traveling along you know through wild hazardous you know spaces of land that are lost and uh you know nice you're, you're gonna have to go through the whole board just uh and, and be forced to move all throughout the paths you know even through the pit and stuff which is going to send you back to start or it could if you land on the pit but um Anything may happen in this game to all the players, you know, over the routes that you go through to travel on right. and, uh, you know, to the finish circles that you got. So the main object of the game is just, you know, for your player to land on their finish circle first. And that's pretty much basically it. So you'll be getting trapped and having to go onto the different pictures. They got like live, you know, um, you know, real, real life, like uh, pictures of the show. Yeah. And, um, if you land on those, you know, those are going to be like your safety zones or your caves or, you know, like um, you can go across to the other side of the board, you know, but um, you'll be spinning the spinner and the spinner is really old school looking like like how, how 60s is that? 
<laughs> extremely 60s. <laughs> yeah. And you got to go in any direction, straight ahead, right, left. It's a, it's a directional, um, you know, but then it shows you at the same time what color is going to be going on there. So you could be spinning a spinner, but not necessarily moving your character. You'll be moving you know somebody else's or or yours what you know so i mean is it co-op i don't think so really but it just it's very competitive though you're just trying to race your way to you know your your, your cave circle and that's basically it but if you get sent back to the cave you know in the pit i made it like a house rule you um you roll a die. If, if you roll evens, you escape. If you roll odds, you guys stay there and miss two turns or something. Just to add a little bit more challenge to it. Have you got that game? Uh, and this is a game that all of our friends, except maybe a couple, have, don't have. Lost Valley of the Dinosaurs. Oh, man. Yeah, I heard so much about that. And um, I, I do have it. It's on the floor here. Oh, you do have it. Oh, wow. I was going to save the best for last because I know, you know, the, the people are hopping and going crazy for this one. I remember seeing this game and knowing about it a few years back ago, like, like maybe like 2014. Uh, this guy really, he really did a great job reviewing it, but I think he was one of the first to review it. Um, back in 2010, uh, Ryan McSwain. So yeah. if he's watching this video right now, hats off to you, bro. You know, you did a great job reviewing it. And, uh, yeah, you know, I hate to I hate to rub it in nice and tight, and, you know, but uh, <laughs> yeah, he was the first I think, and then I think Retro Gamer Daz or something like that, mm -hmm. he came out with one, um, December twenty second, December thirty first was when Ryan did his, and then twenty fifteen came out with uh, some other dude did a uh, review about it. I forget his name, sorry if I forget, but and then you know. Uh, Bernardo. So, you know, I've known about this game for a pretty long time and I knew I should have did a review about it before anybody else did, but it, it, it don't matter to me. It, it, this ain't no race. It's just, we're all getting along, having fun, doing our videos, man, and just showing, you know, different games to play. And that's all it is, you know, strength through unity. That's it. So, yeah, you know, there's, no, there's no competition. I tell you, this is a game that's been on my radar. Um, it's hard to get because it, it's usually only in the England or where you can buy the game. So it, it, it costs a little bit of money. But I Yeah, mean, just I, make sure make sure about this because don't get me wrong, nothing bad or nothing. And I'm not you know saying anything offensive, but when I got mine, you know how they say on eBay, oh, it, it comes from a smoke-free home, whatever, blah, blah. Yeah. I opened up the box. The, <laughs> it smelled like curry. <laughs> I'm like, dude, yeah. I'm like, whoa, poof. <laughs> All of a sudden, it just knocked me out. I'm like, wow. I'm like, this person probably had it and played it a lot in their kitchen. <laughs> it, smelled, oh, yeah. it smelled like food. <laughs> it got me hungry like a dinosaur to go get something to eat. You know, I wanted, I, I wanted food. Yeah. And I, I'm more of an herbivore, so... I try to stick to more vegetables, you know? Yeah. If I, I do eat meat, it's it's chicken or fish, you know, but I'm trying to lean more towards the veggie, the vegetables. You know, it, it's more refreshing. It's less water to try to digest it with. And it, you know, I don't know. That's basically it. But, um, I hear you, buddy. Uh, I'm looking. You, I was going to say, anybody, I want to say hi to everybody who's uh, joined us. Yeah. Any, you guys have any, um, uh, dinosaur board games that you like please feel free to leave them in the comments because uh, i i have board game geek open up here and i can i'm going to go to it and show off uh, some games that you guys suggest too so i'll show you my last game that i have and i just got this um do this uh it's this one it's the monopoly jurassic park i like that yeah uh <laughs> this is a pretty good version of monopoly um and i'll show you the back of the box too here but uh, it has a little electronic gate, and anytime you pass go, you'll hit that button. And if you hear a dinosaur roar, you'll get like a hundred bucks. If you hear the music, you'll get two hundred. But you have this T Rex over here that's basically running around the board and damaging any of the properties that it ends up on. And so 
a lot of this game is you're having to play catch up because if the dinosaur passes you, you have to pay the bank fifty dollars. And the last time my wife and I played this, this dinosaur, it was just like behind her and kept catching up to her the whole time. So she had to pay fifty dollars, fifty dollars, fifty dollars <laughs> over and over again before she was finally able to, you know, move somewhere else. Um, but it's a fun, it's a fun little version. I mean, it goes by fairly quick. Uh, you know, and uh, you know, a lot of times you're just having to fix your properties because the dinosaur is yeah. damaging it. But um, it's a cool little version. So um, it's got a lot of replayability, right? Like you know, I think so. Um, you know, I mean, I, I'd say so. Yeah, the newer Monopoly games. The one thing I like about them is they're going. They they play a lot faster than the standard Monopoly game. I mean, you can yeah. play these games in under an hour um, nowadays. Oh but, yeah, it's like speedy. You know, like it's more streamlined. I think. Um, so outside of that, and uh, in case y'all didn't see this, this is a little prototype Dino Dodge game that I got, which is a pretty fun little game we just played yesterday where you're trying to dodge meteors with your dinosaur, but you're trying to force your opponent <laughs> into a place where a meteor is going to hit and eliminate them. So it's pretty funny. Um, yeah, did you ever hear that game, Happy Little Dinosaurs? Have if you've got Amazon Prime, now's the time to get it if you you know if you can, because it, it was going for 13, but like with tax like 14, 15. I saw you know a little review on it. Um somebody you know has it on the Amazon you know website, you know? Yeah, that little arrow that you click. And um it looks pretty funny, cute and cool, and fun to play at the same time. You know, you'll be going around the board trying to make it to the finish line. But as you're doing that, you're gonna be getting into like different card battles and stuff. So, you know that that that's all I got out of it. Yeah, you know, I mean I, I haven't played it yet. I never bought it. You know, but it looks kind of cool. I think I might you know buy it. You know, review it. You know, when you know whenever I get a chance. But uh, I think I might wait for it to go on sale again because by the time you know it's the end of tonight, I think that that's the end of the sale. But Either way, I mean, I think the game goes for like 20 bucks, but it's worth it, you know, mm -hmm. if you like that kind of stuff, you know, I mean, that that's what makes the game worth, you know, getting anyway, you know, like you never mind about anything else. You just, you know, if, if, if you like it, if it looks interesting, you know, check it out and that's it, you know, but there's so many games I had to get just to check it out and see if I liked it, but I had to buy it first, you know. Mm -hmm. so but those games i would wait till i found them at like you know thrift shops and stuff and some i did some i didn't but no big deal um i, I had um do you have any of the jurassic park games um like yeah three from the movies did you i want to break them out but uh i'm gonna trip over all of this stuff that's okay i can show it i can show it on here i'll just show yeah one. uh here's one of them now, uh, there were three different games, I guess, from the three different movies. Um, now, our friend Matt reviewed these games, and I think mm -hmm. there were problems with all of them. Like one of them, the dinosaurs were too strong. The other one, the humans were too strong. And then the third one, I don't remember offhand what the problem was. But they were never able to make the game balanced, from what I understand, from what Matt said. So... Um, you know, now they do have the new Jurassic Park, and you may have this one too, the Danger one. And uh, yeah, do you have that one? Mm hmm. It took me a while to learn it, but you know, um, as a matter of fact, I got it right here. Toss it on up. How many, yeah, Vinny, you've got so many games. I mean, all of us keep joking that if we ever come to your house, we're going to, like, you know, borrow some permanently. <laughs> Don't let it really happen like this, but I'll just, I'll fake it. I'll let you guys rob me. You know, that's it. Just... Huh. All right, it looks like Vinny froze there. He'll come back. All right, let's see here. I'm going to. Go to the stream yard here while we're waiting on Vinny to come back. <laughs> Looks like he's back. Okay, Vinny, what do you? Oh, there it is. Jurassic Park it Danger. Now, what's the deal with that game? What's the deal with that game? All right, with this game, you're playing the dinosaurs and the humans. 
And what you got to do in this game is um, uh, looks like we got some lag, guys. All right, hold up. All right, try again, Ben. All right, you're going to be going through um, the island here, right? And mm -hmm. basically, the humans yeah. have a mission. They each have a different mission, and it's on their cards what they got to do. They got to go for that mission and finish the objective on the island. Then they got to turn off the power or, you know, uh, turn on the power, activate the electric fences. You know, um, yeah. what else they got to do? Uh, Sorry. <laughs> I That's forgot. Okay. I mean, I, I've been doing so much stuff and it's like, yeah, my, my mind's lost right now. Uh, yeah. So that's basically it. You're just going to be going to like different places and, um, you got to go, um, to the, uh, the, the museum, whatever, you know, the, uh, the, the, the uh, guest area. Mm -hmm. And then you got to make your way back to the, uh, the helicopter pad and get rescued and then you fly away and that's it you win it's kind of like fireball island huh uh i'd say maybe so i think you might have hit it on the nail a little bit <laughs> you know gift um different uh game mechanics you know to make it different but um kind of same but yet different idea yeah you know everybody that uh we know likes it um like, oh yeah that's great now um i have i don't know if any of you guys have played this one it was called jurassic world it came out fairly recently and i think you can get it at walmart now but i've gotten mixed reviews on the game and i'll show it do you, I'll, do you have it yeah you do have it <laughs> he's got a library folks what can i say I should have named the there's the shell board game library, but I don't know, whatever. <laughs> That's okay. There's the Jurassic World game. I'll just pop yeah. it the screen. There it is. Um, Oop, there it is. Yeah, I think it's like you're running you're running a park and it's kind of like a co-op game where um now you have the game, Benny. I'll let you talk about it. There it is. Yeah. Um yeah, you got it right in the nail. You know, we we spoke about it last time with, uh, uh, I think, Jamie, too. You're just going to gather up um, a, a team of people and just, like, try to make up your own, you know, park and stuff, just like in the movie, you know? And uh, that's basically it. There's going to be some mishaps and some problems along the way. Dinosaurs are going to rebel and try to attack you and stuff. And then um, there's no dinosaur pieces, really. I mean, I'll show you a little bit of the components inside the game. Sure, let's see them. But um, the board, you begin a player board like this. And so somebody's going to be a scientist. You'll get a research lab. The other one's going to be like, um, you know, the explorer, the, um, not the architect. What do they call them again? Archaeologist. <laughs> And go on a, a fossil dig, uh, you yeah, know, the fossil dig uh, site. You're going to go on, um, you know, have like different cards, like right. uh, for your mission and stuff like that. And then, uh, you know, danger for the dinosaurs and stuff. To, they're going to be attacking you. But that that's basically it. So oh. everybody's, it, it's like trying to run a store or your own amusement park, actually, but board game style. It's all managing, you know, being a manager for a park. But you're, um, you know, doing it board game style. So, but it's not that bad of a game. Okay, you yeah. know, I, I, I tried it once, you know, but um, I think I had to go somewhere. So, but, I actually just thought of another game that I have. Um, that I didn't bring it up here with me, but I have a, I have a picture of it here, and you might have this one. It's called uh, I'll show it to you. It's called Evolution. Yeah. This one, have you seen? Have you got this one? That game's kind of fun. It is. Um, it reminds me. I have a game called Extinction. That's an older game. It kind of reminds me of that one, where you're basically, uh, you know, trying, you know, building your species, and you're just mainly trying to eat the most amount of food. 
but it's kind of funny because you can make a carnivore and they can only eat dinosaurs, but they can only eat the dinosaurs if they have the same ability as the dinosaurs or, or whatever. And I, you know, many times what you're going to end up doing is you're going to play a dinosaur on your side and then eat it <laughs> because that's the only way you can beat it. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, it's a fun game. Um, that's it right there. Yeah. Um, I have the older one. You have the older one? Oh, okay. Yeah, mine doesn't come with that, um, you know, the green uh, wooden brontosaurus dinosaur. Oh, it doesn't? Oh, okay. No, I mean, the only time I think you use that is, like, it's it's a player marker to keep track on who's next in the game. That's all. Yeah. That's a fun game. It's, it's, I like it. Uh, you know, it, it. It's a basic card game, you know, and uh, – you know, it, it, it's simple to grasp, you know. Yeah, it's a good one. All right, Vinny, show us some more, man. I'm, I've run out right now, so. I got um, uh, Dino Bones board game. Dino where Bones. Dinosaurs rule the earth. And um, uh, wow. can you see it or no? Yeah, I can see it. How old is that? It's um eighties. Uh, the reason why I asked if you could see it because um on my side the screen is stuck. It's on the uh, it's You're still good. showing from uh BBG. I can still see you. You're good. You're All right. Um, so I had this game, you know, uh, way back in the day when I was a wee lad. And uh, I, I found it at a thrift shop for a couple of bucks. So I said, you know what? Let me pick it up. It was complete. You know, and um, I said, it's a fun game. You know, basically what you're going to be doing is going around the board, you know, landing on spaces and just doing what the spaces instruct you to do. Right. Simple, you know, roll and move and stuff, you know. And, uh, you know, you got to collect the bones and then make up the puzzle. So, but it's nice though. You got, you got to, um, uh, just build the skeleton, you know, players travel through the, the, uh, the board and in search of dinosaur bones that are placed on the skeleton, you know, like uh, to make a puzzle. So every time a bone is placed, the player is going to receive a score that's equal to the total of bones already played. So, you know, you're going to hang on to your bones for a higher score, but sometimes you're going to risk losing them because, you know, another player is going to, you know, be, you know, like, um, hot on your track, so to say. And, uh, that, that's pretty much it. So you'll lose a bone, gain a bone, give your dog a bone. This old man came rolling home and you win the game. You got like tokens and stuff, scoring uh, tokens. Huh, you get the, the, um, yeah, it, 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 it's a great game for kids. I mean, I don't really play it a lot. But it does have a lot of replayability, and yep. um, it's, got, it's got this dinosaur on the back too. That there was old T-shirts back in the day, like Skatosaurs, Video Game Asaurs. I don't know if you remember those shirts. I don't. They had like a little caption about what that name meant, and they had like the dinosaur playing video games and stuff. Or it, it was oh, it was wow. it was a shirt thing. Yeah, back in the day. I don't know. That's great. But um, this character looks exactly like – so he would probably be like board game of source. And, like, on the bottom, there would be a picture of us and, like, playing board games and, like, a definition of, like, what a board game, you know, uh, fanatic would be. Yeah. <laughs> so I was kind of looking at uh, some dinosaur board games earlier. Was it earlier this year? There was one I was actually thinking of getting, and it's a more recent game, and I'll show it to you. You might have it, Vinny. It's called Triassic Terror. Um, let's see. It just, it just, um, you start with I can't a herd. see it though. Um, I'll read it to start. you. Um, you start with a herd in a swamp and you're trying to establish new herds and grow them into larger herds, which migrate, um, trying to compete for the best habitats. But you can fall prey to the mighty T Rex, velociraptors, erupting volcanoes. This game sounds a lot like a game I have called uh, Extinction, Extinction, the Game of Ecology. Um, I did do a review on that game once, and it's a great game. I'll I'll have to 
pull it up. Um, but uh, what's it called again? Triassic what? Tri Triassic Terror. This is this one here that I'm showing. So on the yeah okay. Um, but uh, yeah, it's got a lot of cool little pieces. Um, this is what I was thinking about getting. Uh, some more oh, I've seen this before. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Um, yeah, it looks like a cool game, and and um, the game I was uh, that I had mentioned, uh, I found at a thrift store, and it's got like about eighty dice in it, and it's got a lot wow. of happenings, and it's a fantastic game, and it was made from a professor. It wasn't even like a major label that made the game. It was, I think, he had published it himself or whatever. But it is a fantastic game. I kind of like games like that that are made by random people, you know. Yeah, uh, like here, here's Susie the baker, but she made this game about baking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I have a. Uh, yeah, we just got, and it's kind of funny because nowadays with these kickstarters, I mean, you, you can get there's so many. Here's the game. Let me get it up for you. The one I was just talking about is this one. It's a pretty basic looking game, um, but um, let me. See. But you have like all you know these the kind of games we can come up with and like. Hopefully we do, but we probably wouldn't even get credit for it. You know, like, yeah, I heard them saying about this uh, I lost barbershop. Again, We're just going to call it barbershop. And, uh... <laughs> they have board games for just about everything. Oh, I, remember, I, know, yeah. I remember this particular game, there was different things that you could do to change up part of your species. This isn't a dinosaur game, but, uh, you know, you could change what type it was and all sorts of stuff. And that would – a lot of this game, you'd be attacking and eating your opponents and stuff. Um, they ought to redo this game. It, it is a great, it's a great game. Um, mm -hmm. It is a really cool game for back what it was. All right, Vinny, what else you got, buddy? Uh, dun, 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 dun. I got Disney Pixar. Don't laugh, adults. This goes out to the kids out there because they deserve to see cool board games too. That uh, oh, you know, I just got the kids, adults, whatever. The good dinosaur. <laughs> I, I love that. this game. I can't help it. I I just it's it's very luck driven. It's like you keep rolling and keep rolling and everything, and try to like not let you know the uh, the, the tidal wave wash every old dinosaurs over you know and pull them back to start um you just it, you, you build the game as, as you play it's all puzzle pieces you know mm -hmm. so you're trying to race your way through the obstacles landing on different spaces and also you might have to do some things that could either hinder your advancement and pull you back or you know it it advance your advancement in the game and make you move forward throughout the game quicker. So um, you're going to spin a spinner and move. That's, that's basically it. Uh, you got to watch out for the flood that's chasing you and make sure that you try to roll, you know, spin, uh, you know, high numbers and everything, but it's not numbers. You're playing it like Candyland. So if it spins and it, you, you end up on like orange or purple, green, you know, but it, it's a co-op game. It's a giant three foot board. And it, it's wow. fun. It's wow. it's really catchy. And, you know, you got to get all three of your dinosaurs home, or four of them, actually, before they get swept away by the water. So that that's that's basically that's it. And you got each time you make it to the end, you know, you got to, um, you know, make it, you know, like put another puzzle piece to it. It's almost like a giant tile, you know, placement game in a sense. That's pretty cool. But you just got you got to beat the flood. And um, it's cool because you hook up the track. The spinner is going to hook up onto the track so you can, you know, easily slide the spinner, you know, going forward as you're spinning it. And uh, it, it follows you throughout the gameplay. So it's cool. You know, um, people get a laugh out of it. It's suspenseful, you know, because you don't know if it's going to, you know, if you're going to get washed up or not. Right. So it's, it's like a race against time. And the time mechanism is... Yeah, you know, the flood trying to wash you up. That's all. That's pretty but cool. it, it's fun. It's got replayability to it. You know, I, I, I could play a few rounds of this game. It goes by really quick, too. That's so you can go by like 10 rounds and like, you know, look back and like 
don't even realize at the time how long you were playing the game for because you don't care. It's just so fun. You know, you're not even thinking about anything, you know, but. That sounds, well, that's, that, um, I'm really would say a lot of these kids games are just great. I mean, one thing they yeah. teach, you know, and they're just fun. A lot of them are just really fun to play. You, you know, you don't have to. I think. know. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Like a lot of kids and adults, you know, it doesn't matter what the age. Yeah. It's like, if it's an eye catching game and it's fun, you know, it's like you can, you know, adults can just be a kid again, just having a good time, you know, mm-hmm. with friends, family, you know, and just pass the time having good quality time with each other, you know, playing a board game. A lot of games are educational too, you know, yeah. they'll teach you a lot of strategy. They'll teach you, you know, different concepts and, you know, decision-making and, you know, different you know, math skills or whatever, you know, just to, cause you, you gotta like, especially if it's like worker placement games, you know? Yeah. And, uh, that's just what this Jurassic park game is. Yeah. You know, cause you're, you're going to be, you know, the, um, the park ranger, you're playing like all different kind of roles, you know, that was in those, you know, movies of Jurassic park and you're the scientist, you're, you know, the ticket collector, <laughs> you know, whatever. So I'm, I'm only kidding. There's no ticket collected at the park, but it just, it, 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 it's funny because, you know, we're right. They make a game about anything and, you know, anything goes. So, Hey, I say, bring it, you know, the more the merrier, you know? Well, what else? Uh, bringing another one in. Um, I just come up with another one. Um, and this is a more recent game. I'll just share it real quick. Cause I know you got a lot of games, Ben. It's this one, and you might have this one. It's Dinosaur Island. Dinosaur Island. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one. That's almost like the Jurassic Park um, game. The, uh, yeah. like, you're, you have like a you're, – you're trying to build a park and these different things. Yeah. Um, you know, and uh, I mean, I've heard great things about it. I mean, I'm, you know. Even the box cover is good. I mean, look at it. It's very 80s looking. Yeah. Yeah, so. it looks exciting with the purple colors and the green and you know you know what I mean? And like just the way a dinosaur looks. Yeah, yeah. It's a it, it looks I, I would like to try this one out. It's a more recent game. Um yeah, looks really good. I remember they used to have it in Barnes and Noble. Do you yep. have Barnes and Noble out by you or no? Yeah, we do. We have that in the books a million. We got those two. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we used to have Walden books and um I'll remember the other name of the other store when the video is over, and I'll probably throw you a text message of it, but by then it's, it's past the point, you know? I forget the name of that. Uh, Walden Books, Barnes & Noble, and whatever. I just – I don't, don't want to, you know, waste time trying to remember the, the name of the store. It, it, they're, they're out of business anyway, so we're talking like, you know, 30 years ago. So – Here's one from Jamie, Dinogenics. You ever heard of that one? Yeah. I don't have it, though. You don't have it yet? Well, yeah, you, it's an interesting else? game. I'm going to check that one out, too. What do you? What else have you got? Uh, you know? I got Raptor. Yeah. Off and on up. <laughs> See it? Yeah, uh-huh. Wow. Now, basically, you're just going to, um, you know, go different spaces and uh, I didn't really go through the instructions, to be honest with you, but I've seen reviews about it. I know uh, Sam Healy from Dice Tower. Mm-hmm. He, he did a review about it, too, you know, so um, but that's where I saw it from. And I was also spelunking around trying to look for dinosaur games, you know, online, uh-huh. um, you know, like months ago or whatever. The game looks cool. You're trying to go around the board from what I see. Uh, you got to capture young, alive, or neutralize uh, the mother dinosaur, who is quick and powerful. And um, the face-to-face encounter of her could be very epic. Wow, yeah. So in Raptor, each side has access to many different actions and powers. The modular board, you know, tiles that you're going to lay down, ensures that each game is going to be unique and different. So you're laying down tiles, and it's going to be fun, you know, full of surprises. You know, um, you get these little miniatures here of uh, archaeologists. Yeah. 
And um, I always save these things, you know, the, the frames that you punch the tokens out and stuff. Yeah. I save them so, like, the board, the box doesn't bow if you stack a lot of boxes on it and stuff. Because oh, yeah. it'll stay sure. solid from keeping on top, you know, like... I don't know. I'm weird like that. Yeah, I have a lot of those too. <laughs> the, the secrets of board game collectors too. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, you're gonna be like you know randomly just like laying down these tiles, and they got front and back, so you know green or desert. Nice. And okay. um, that's basically it. You got a little baggie here of the miniatures and dinosaurs, and I think. Like, um, you got a team that plays the dinosaur and a team that plays the humans. And you got to play your cards right, too. So, you know, you got, like, card movement and stuff and your actions and what you can do. Sort of this is what the dinosaurs can do. So, I mean, it kind of... Like, if I was to play this game, it looks already... Like, I could probably, like like, get the feel of it already. Just by looking at it, I know I, I never judge a board game box by its cover, but, you know, it seems like it's going to be like um, the game unmatched in a way. Yeah. And, you know, you're going, but played a little differently, you know? So, but, um, yeah, I, I was looking forward to reviewing it. I just never got the chance to do it yet. So I'm, I'm still also, I, I got to read about it and stuff, you know? I don't want to get on the show and yeah, you know, looking like I don't know what I'm talking about here or anything, but oh, uh, that's that's I think that's all of us. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I faked my way through half my reviews. I'm just kidding. I know it's uh, like you know. What did uh, Jamie say? Uno Jurassic World. Uh, <laughs> I have a picture of Uno Jurassic World for you, Jamie, right here. There it is. Just some of the cards. It's nothing different about the gameplay, but it's themed that way. Yeah. Um, all right, Mr. Vinny, what else have you got? Um, for, all right. Dinosaurs extinct. Dinosaurs. And um, when you're going around, it's just simple roll and move. But um, you got to play your cards right. You'll be getting dealt some cards. So you got to become your favorite dinosaur and take the exciting journey through time. And uh, you'll be going around this board. There's different times, time zones and stuff. Uh, you'll be, uh, you know, playing cards for card battling and stuff like that. And um, you add, you know, whatever the, the number of card is on the, uh, you know, the, the number is on the card. You add that to your dice roll when you're having a dice battle. Okay. Against, you know, but that's if you have to fight against a dinosaur. And you'll be going forwards and backwards, miss a turn, you know, trying to make your way all the way to the finish line. That's basically it. You'll be losing cards, drawing cards, you know? So, but uh, you got to avoid the T-Rexes that are chasing you. Yeah, you know, but it's going to be card style, you know, like you'll notice when the T-Rex is chasing you when, um, you know, somebody plays a T-Rex attack on you, you know, or if you draw a T-Rex attack card. But it's cool because um, as you lose power in the game, because you can lose power before you make it to the finish line, you um, you got to make it from prehistoric era to 21st century. But you'll be given these boards and um, you'll be losing power. And every time you lose power, you got to flip up. It's like you get three strikes and you're out in the old ball game. Well, this is three strikes and you're out in the old board game because it is actually an old board game, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's, that's it. You, Yeah. If, if you if you lose, you dead. Yeah, that's it. You're extinct. So, but we don't say that. It's a kid's game. They they just become extinct. Right. Right. <laughs> All right. Man. But the the cards are cardboard, really thick cardboard. You know, you could you could throw them, chuck them, and stuff. They won't break. You know, but you'll be getting the T Rex a lot, and the volcano. So yeah. you'll 
yeah, every every chance, like every single uh, zone that you go through. I'm starting to remember it a little bit now. You got to um, you, when you draw a card, you got to go through that um, you know that that zone that that disaster. Yeah, you know, like the uh, the ice caps melting or whatever, T Rex attack, volcano erupting. But you get this big, huge die. <laughs> like it's just like you know, like almost like, like a ping pong ball. And uh, the player markers are cool. It's a fun game. It's got some replayability. But um, I haven't been playing it lately, you know. But I like it. I got it at a thrift shop for like a few bucks, you know. So I figured I'd try it out and do a review about it. I'm uh, I'm just looking on uh, the board game geek site here. I'm just looking through their list of dinosaur games here. Uh, I, I don't, you know what it's like. Is there are there any dinosaurs stronger than the T Rex? The T Rex always is like the big bad dude in everything. It's like, like a you know <laughs> anything else that that's bigger than the T Rex. I'm outside of the Bronchosaurus, but they were plant eaters. Um, Dino. I think the Allosaurus. I mean, oh, but yeah. he wasn't bigger than a T Rex. He yeah. had a different body structure, but. Uh, I don't know really. The raptors are very vicious. They were like the hyenas, and the T Rex was like the lion. You know. So this um, there was a there is it here. There was a Kickstarter that came out recently called Jurassic Parts. Have you ever heard of that one? Yeah, Jurassic Park uh, Parts. I seen that one in Barnes and Noble. They got it. It's a small box game. Yeah. And um, it's like an archaeologist dig kind of game, right? I believe so. It just says, uh, remove up to three concealed tiles from the slab and look at them. You may mix them up. If there are chisels on the tiles, they remain. Uh, I don't know much about it. I know that uh, one of the sites I was on, they were looking for people to review it. Um, I never got a copy. Yeah, Z Garcia reviewed it, I think. Yeah. Uh, he did a good job doing that. It was pretty cool. You know, like... Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's an understandable game, you know. Like it's not like something you get lost, and it's easy to, you know, to pick up. There was a um, series, and this is this is just off of board games um, on dinosaurs from the History Channel. And I think they what they would do. I'm trying to remember what they did, <coughs> but they would like have these two dinosaurs like computer generated battle each other, I guess, to see who would win, or something like that, if I recall. That's cool. And it was the computer animation was, you know, well, for lack of a better word, kind of prehistoric. But uh, but it was an interesting show. Um, you know, they were talking a lot about the dinosaurs and stuff. But um, yeah. All right, Vinny, what else you got, buddy? Um, I got. Here, I'll just throw one of mine again. This is a, this is one of the four that I have. I'm proud. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, if you want to just post the pictures up, I could take them out, but you can post. Yeah. So, yeah. Give me a title. I can post up the, the pictures. Here. Basically it's all the Jurassic park ones, Jurassic park, uh, lost world, uh, Island survival game. That's the third one. And then I got the card game that has like a little mini micro board. You got to escape the, um, the, sp the spinosaurus. Oh, there's a Jurassic Park escape card game. Here it is. Yeah. That one. It's a little red box, right? Yep, that's it right there. Yeah. That yeah. one's kind of fun, but, I mean, what do you expect? It's a little card game, you know? And that, that's all you, you're playing your cards, you know, right or wrong. And if you're playing wrong, whatever, you're in danger. You know, you, you just basically got to, you know, keep going, moving your play marker forward. And, you know, trying to get, you know, away from the uh, Spinosaurus. So, okay. yeah, it's ah, it's a small game. It's it, There's really nothing to it. So it's it's easy to learn, easy to play. It's fun, but I don't know. I don't play it as much as the other ones. Um, I do like Jurassic Park. I mean, you know, um, whatever anybody says with their opinions and stuff, 
you know, I, I can understand what they're saying and, and the reasons why, you know. But for right. some reason, you know, I just think about it more, you know, we all know that vintage board games will were, hey, you know, vintage board games. And they, they were made the way they were made just to be basic and easy, quick to learn and play, you know. So there's really not much thinking involved that much, you know, or many choices or reasons why this happens that and that happens that way. You know, it was just made just to be a game. Like, I don't know. But I mean, yeah, I think Matt is on the, he's on the right track when it comes to making up the house rules for it. Mm -hmm. You know, I made up a few house rules, you know, or um, an expansion actually for Jurassic Park. You know, you can make like a little cardboard Jeep or something like that and put the uh, the player marker in there and you could jump in the Jeep and, uh, you know, race your way through different parts of the game. I think they should have made a Cadillacs and Dinosaurs game. You know, that would have been cool. Like the Jurassic Park, you know, board game and, and any of them really, you know. That but, was a uh, game. Uh, oh, sorry, Manny. There was yeah, a, no, it's all right. Go there, ahead. There was a game uh, Matt had reviewed a little while ago, and I believe this was it. Um, it's called Dinosaurier. Um, does that look yeah, familiar? Dinosauria. That's yeah. almost like the Dino Riders. Yeah, yeah, or something like that. Um, but you it, got these. It had some fantastic miniatures in there. Oh, oh yeah, I, I, I've. Um, you know, check that out, you know, a few times on, uh, you know, his channel. And uh, he did a great job reviewing it. You know, um, uh, yeah. it's you're, you're playing checkers or chess. You know, it's, it's you know, just a battle game. But it, it's it's fun. You know, it, it looks like a really cool game to play. It looks and really the, mini the miniatures are really cool. That's what makes the game, too, because it's like playing with your action figures, you know, and yeah, having a board game battle. Wow. I really like that, man. I might, I might put that on the list. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that is fantastic. Holy cow! Yeah. Um. All right. Let's see. Do you have any other ones, Vinny, in your collection that you can see? Yeah. Here's a one. I this one I love the most. I mean, well, not not like the most, but he likes whatever. Them. All right, let's see. Honey, I'm home. Who remembers that show? Da, 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 da. Not the mama. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dinosaurs, the board game from Jim Henson and Disney or whatever. That's funny. How to rate a 60 million year old refrigerator. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, it's wow. a great game. I mean, I. Yeah. To me, is a lot of replayability because I'm I'm into all these kind of goofy gimmick kind of like games and stuff, you know. And uh, it, it it makes it fun because it's a 3D board. It's a whole scenario. You feel like you're on stage with them in the show. And uh, what you got to do is just um, you got to feed the baby, and sometimes you'll be you know going in through the refrigerator, and you got to roll the dice. So this this fridge is a dice tower and you're going to, you know, roll the dice out of it and they're going to come out the bottom of the, uh, the, the refrigerator door. So it's a very comical game. Uh, you know, so it, it's just hysterical. It's very cute and fun, you know, and uh, it, it's just, you're going to be going around the rondelle here and then, you know, trying to just get food for baby and um, whoever gets the most food, like I think, like it's like three or something like that. You gotta collect creatures to stash in the refrigerator, and then try to get baby food and bottles back out. You know, so you gotta watch out for Grandma Ethel because she'll send you back to start. <laughs> and um, you know, if you land on her, she'll tell you to go back, go back, go back. <laughs> oh, I remember how she used to talk, but that's basically it. You feed the baby his food or bottle and try to make them smile and if you do you win that's basically it because when you every time you you reach the baby you gotta turn the dial and you know press your luck to see if he's gonna smile so that's press your luck to, yeah it rhymes press your luck with the dial in order to see the baby smile mixing dinosaurs and refrigerators <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, home the home shopping network with dinosaurs. You know, they had anything on there. 
That's going to school, but you get to play as all the characters, and uh, it it it's fun. I love it. I just love the way it looks, just like you know the TV show. So, I was just on Board Game Geek, just kind of browsing around. I found this one it's called Dino Dunk. It's a uh, it's a uh, apparently a basketball game with dinosaurs. You can kind of see him dunking into the uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know much about it at all. I just discovered this. I think that's it. You you know about it now. <laughs> I know about it now. Yeah, but <laughs> that looks pretty cool though. It just it's it's funny. See that that's yeah. It's, it's the funny. stuff that you get a kick out of that just attracts you, and then it just clicks, you know. And like you're like, I got to get that game just to play it to try it out. And then before you know it, you you you, you fall for the game. You know, it's like you, right. it's sold. <laughs> so his team has five dinosaurs represented by wooden dice. You alternate turns, striking at either their dinosaur or the ball as they move past and shoot in order to score the most points. <laughs> That's cool. That's pretty funny. That's yeah. pretty funny. Uh, all right, Ben, do you have anything else uh, that you can see? I'm going to just kind of browse through here for a couple more games and see if anything else yeah. comes up. Um, I got the Jurassic World Volcano Escape. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, that one, I think, is available now, isn't it? Uh, no, nah, I think it's out of print. I remember when I got my copy, it was like clearance price, like five bucks at a Walmart in Philadelphia. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I, I went to go visit somebody in Philly. And on the outskirts of Philly there, you know, they had um, – the game was, like, on the shelf. So I'm like, you know, the box is open, but the the pieces – the bags are still sealed. It looks complete. It is. I'm like, five bucks? That thrift shop price at a Walmart store? I'm buying it. <laughs> so I took it home. I gave it a home, and it's great. I mean – I'm going to throw this one out at you, too. Matt, if you're still on here, I'm gonna I'm gonna show this one to you. I know you yeah, like go ahead. Well, actually, never mind. It's on the screen. It's called Dino Deal. Uh, Dino who? Dino Deal. Doesn't look like it has the best ratings, but it says no. I don't think I heard about that. Four dinosaur cards are placed in the middle of the table. You bid on them, uh, and whoever has the most valuable dinosaur at the end of the game is the winner. It's from Cosmos. <laughs> <laughs> Looks they, all right. They don't have any pictures of it. Yeah. Yeah, it looks okay. Um, Did you want to see more of the volcano escape? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get you back on here. There you are. You'll be um just escaping disasters in a 3D game. The lava ball, uh, you got to block. So, well, how could you block a lava ball? If the lava ball gets you, you got to go back to start or something, you know? Right. So, uh, you know, you be going around the board trying to make your way to one of these plastic boats i mean can you imagine a dinosaur saying hey i gotta catch a boat like catching a bus you know <laughs> it's kind of silly an idea but you know but it's cool though because the t-rex you roll a t-rex and the t-rex is gonna be moved too you gotta move the t-rex around and he'll be going around the circles trying to chase you it's almost like dino escape I just reviewed that game. It's from uh, Peaceable Kingdom Games or something like that. You know, it's like one of those co-op games for like kids four and up. Mm -hmm. But um, this one, you got the marble, which are lava balls, and you put them at the top of the volcano, and you don't know which uh, way the, the lava balls are going to come out. You know, so they can either hit you, or they can be there and they can block you, or they, they can block your opponent. Or you could block your opponent with the T-Rex moving around. So, But all in all, you're just trying to go around the board, trying to get to the escape raft yeah. and, uh, you know, hightail it off the island. That's it. So They've got a lot of it's fun. It's fun to set up and stuff. And, you know, you can go, you know, a few rounds playing, with, playing the game, you know. So it's not that bad. I know Dino Escape 2. They have, um, you know, that the one, not this one. They had the other one I reviewed uh, recently, but Jurassic Park style. Uh -huh. So I don't know what I did with that game. Oh, here it is.
All right. I'm just making uh, – what am I doing? I just wanted to say um, – <laughs> You guys uh, – but we're gonna try to do a Star Wars board game one. Soon. Yeah. Um, so any of you guys that are on here, Bernardo, Matt, Jamie, y'all want in? Please do because I know you guys have some Star Wars. Yeah, I. Yeah, it's like a block party, and everybody's invited. Yes. Yes, I would love to have you guys on for we're sure. We're all here for the same thing, and we love reaching out, you know, to each other. You know, that's the game. Yeah. We do. Um, let me see if I can find one more. Do you have any more, Vin? Uh, this game, Dinosaur Escape, is kind of played like the Jurassic Park one I just showed you. Yeah. But um, in this game, it's it's more like a memory style game, and you'll be going around the board, picking up tokens, trying to find the dinosaur that matches your dinosaur player marker. And um, occasionally, you know, you might pick up the T Rex token if you do. Everybody's got to go back to their starting space and start all over again. I got so, you. So, and um, everybody's working together, trying to find the um, tokens that match their dinosaur player marker. And when they do, they head off to escape in the island here. That's and uh, that's wow. basically it. Once all three dinosaurs are on the escape island, then they all win. But I made some house rules for it to make it a bit more challenging, you know, and a little bit more different. So I, I kind of like, you know, tricked it out a little bit, you know. So you know, I'm just curious about something. I, I was curious to see if they made anything called dinosaur chess. <laughs> yes, you know? they do. Uh, yeah, I, they I, have I dinosaur see. checkers, and I think you could play it like chess too, or something like that. They should make one with like some miniatures. I've like had the T Rex be the king, and then something else be, yeah. or whatever. They, you know, because they make chess games out of everything. I've seen like Mario chess and uh, you know Transformers chess. I think I even saw. I mean, just yeah, that one looks nice. They look really nice. It's just the only thing is, is chess really isn't my game. I like I can play it, but I'm not. You know, there's so much thinking yeah. in that game. It just <laughs> blow my I mind. know it's mind blowing, man. You know, like, uh, I have Feudal for chess. You know, like, I got that one from Matt. That's a good I saw game. that. I, I, I like them. I, you know, there's something about the game. It's so bland and plain looking, but the miniatures in the game are cool. And they have, like, that old school army man kind of, like, look to it, you know? Yeah. Like those soldiers, you know? Yeah, and that's, that's a fun game. It's kind of like you can play chess with – multiple well it's kind yeah. of like chess but it's way more you, you can do so much more you know because you can play with up to six people um, yeah siege is good too oh here's another this is a new one i'm gonna show you this one i don't know anything about it except i just i just found it here dino diner oh i've seen that yeah survival of the fattest invent the restaurant but apparently you have to do <laughs> <it with dinosaurs. laughs> Or, or something like that. Oh my goodness! Uh, and you just did this dinosaur uh, food coma, right? Food coma, yeah. That, that was, looks fun. This one's right up your alley. Then I think you should yeah. get this game. Yeah, I that food coma was a. Uh, that's not one. That one's not out yet. That was another Kickstarter I got, and that's actually <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's a pretty funny. Yeah, game. a lot of these games are some pretty funny themes to him. We just got one called Chili Mafia yesterday. Why? <laughs> uh, basically, you have 10 different chili peppers, and they're all mafia-themed, you know. Yeah. You, you're trying to build these different gangs, but you can, like, whack the different peppers and take them out and stuff, and you're trying to... It's kind of like got this take that mechanism, and then you're set building and stuff, and it is fun. That's that sounds cool. Game. That's another game. It has nothing to do with dinosaurs, unless dinosaurs ate chili peppers, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Vinny, you got one more game to show us, or uh, you can uh, do I have one more? Oh, well, you, we know you have like a hundred. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, I sweated my hat off trying to find all these games. I'm like, oh shoot! I'm like, what do I got? You all should right. talk all of them on the table. 
Oh, yes, Godzilla, of course. He's a dinosaur, but he's not a dinosaur. But he wanted to join the show. So I'm like, all right, you can join. Godzilla, the um, the claymation game, whatever, the, the clay game. Oh, yeah. So it's uh, one of those stomping clay games. Yeah, like Looney Tunes or um, the, uh, the Great oh, Escape gosh, or something. That looks, that looks great, yeah. Or the Hulk game. There's a Hulk version of this game, too. Mm-hmm. But the Hulk is just a fist. I thought he would just be like a cool figure or something like that. Yeah. Well, just... you know what I say? Improvise, and you could probably fit a Hulk action figure in this box. So if the Hulk game, you know, has um, you know, a box this big, then by all means, go to a thrift shop, get yourself a Hulk action figure, and make them stomp around the board game all over the clay, you know, of cars and stuff, you know. So. A lot of squishing. You get the yeah. clay. You get to set up the buildings, and uh, you get this big footprint that you open it up, and you got all the mold for like jets, cars, trucks, army tanks, and then you mold it, and then you take them out, and then you play it around the board. You draw them around the buildings and stuff, and uh, then Godzilla comes out. And then he's going to be going all the, you know, Manhattan there, having a rampage or something. <laughs> I like the game. I think it's cool. That's great. Um, I would I love to another Godzilla play. game. Play-Doh games is another one we should do uh, an episode. I only have one, but uh, man, I love, I love how they incorporate Play-Doh in the, uh, like, yeah, and splat and. Great oh scheme. yeah, it, it, it's a laugh and a half. It's great, man. It's so much fun. Oh, look at that! In this game, Godzilla game. You're just gonna be. I mean, look how old school this is. <laughs> this screams '80s, early '80s. What is this? '82 or something like that? No, '77. Wow. Wow. That was, this is oh, wow. old the hills. So. Watch! I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it out now and break it. <laughs> I got I gotta be be ginger with these games, you know. Oh yeah. But it looks like one of those um those time clocks that you punch in at, at your job, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and it's time to play Godzilla. Ching ching. <laughs> so swipe oh. your cards and get ready, because when you spin the spinner. Oh, wow. You got to um. How do you do it again? Oh, you got to turn the uh, mechanism around. One, two, three, four. Come on! Don't be shy. It. I don't know. He's. Not working. I'm, I'm getting a little scared here because um, I kind of want him to work. Cause... Come on, dude. What's he supposed to do? Pop out or something? Yeah. Is I don't in? get it. Well, it looks really cool. But you put the spaceships on, right? Yeah. And he'll he'll pop out like that. And he'll grab the spaceship, and then oh, yeah, okay, that that's basically it. Then that spaceship is out. The that's first what... person to lose all their spaceships loses the game, but the other players are going to be going around the dial, the clock, you know, and they'll they'll keep on, you know, uh, playing the game until they lose their spaceships because Godzilla bit them. You know, that looks a lot. That plays a lot like or like Captain Bones. That little yes. game. It kind of reminds me of that. Yeah. That's a little right. bit, yeah. That's fantastic. That is really cool looking. I love like the way they made those games back then. Man. They just they look great. I'll oh, show yeah. you another one. My wife, I think, wants to get this one. Rebecca. <laughs> She's heard about this. Dinosaur tea party. No, I never heard of that. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I've seen that before, but I never played it. Dinosaurs drinking tea, apparently. <laughs> Um, it's sold it's out. I mean, it's everywhere. We we 
we haven't been able to find it in the store because it's been sold out. Um, yeah. This game's not very current, but uh, what is this even about? Uh, you're all gassied up. Your game of pure deduction. You take the card. They're asking each other questions and guessing their dinosaurs' names. Okay, so it's a guessing game. If someone guesses your name, draw a new card. Okay, I get you. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it's, just it's, it's just it's hilarious to me how they take these dinosaurs and they just they they, they end up putting them in tea parties. They're having them raid refrigerators. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, there's the big one. I like it, but I don't know. If I feel like gonna... now, um, all the board game friends that we have have this game. I'm the only one that doesn't have one. So, <laughs> but but everyone, you know, everyone's you know that has has really really liked it. Um, I'm I'm gonna get knocked off the head, you know, but, for saying this, but um, it's a cool game. Don't get me wrong. But you know, I mean, like, I don't know. I think um, Jurassic Park Lost World is cool, you know? Uh -huh. So, I mean, um, I, I love this game. The game is very fun. It's like playing Fireball Island a little bit, but dinosaur style because you'd be going around the board playing cards and stuff. And uh, it's got like, the same kind of card mechanism of gameplay as Fireball Island does, mm -hmm. you know? I like the miniatures. I like how they look like cheesy you know, um, 25 cent machine bubble prizes that you get from those machines, you know, at the, at the supermarkets, or whatever. Right. And they use those for, and then, you know, the dinosaurs and then randomly they made like this plastic pterodactyl that, you know, is really cheaply made and stuff. It just, it, it's a funny game. It's cool. It's exciting. It's fun. I, I do like it. Don't get me wrong, please. You know, um, I, I can understand and see what the big hype is about it. You know, uh, Waddington's games put out, you know, pretty cool, fun games to play. You know, uh, but um, I don't know. There, there's there's different um, things. You, you can also I, I think they, they should have made, you know, if they if they were to remake this game, I'd say do it. Go for it, you know, and um, put like make it like a few expansions to it, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, or just like different additives. Like I made like a, like a little expansion cause I went out to the dollar store and I bought like a little bag of like those, um, those dinosaurs, those small dinosaurs. They're about the same size, the ones in this box, you know, for this game. But, uh, when you're going around the board though, you can make up a card on your own and play it. And, um, if, if a, a, a triceratops is adjacent to you, then, you get to hop on the on the triceratops and ride through, and that's like your safety protectant towards other dinosaurs attacking you, like the T-Rex or the pterodactyl, because then the triceratops could attack the T-Rex, you know, and, and try to, you know, have you travel faster to the other side of the board, you know? Nice. That's so, a game. That is definitely a game I would like to get one day. Yeah, um, I, want to I get mean, it. if I if I crack this box open, you're definitely gonna you know smell the the, the smell of curry. <laughs> it's that strong, I think it is. I had to spray it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it failed. Power, huh? Yeah. But that's okay. The, the game still play. It has no effect on the gameplay. Yeah, right now the game is going for it looks like about a hundred bucks. Um, Get it. If, if if and when you can, you know, just I I would get it. You know, not, well, okay, not, not, yeah. I'm not pushing you, but yeah, you know, well, like one, um, day I, one day I would like to. Um, you know, maybe we'll start up a Lost Valley of the Dinosaurs Facebook page for everybody that owns a copy. You know, like Dark Tower. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, Dark Tower. Yeah, I know, right. Yeah, but th this I game is fun not. though. I like it. It's cool. I and, would, uh, uh, go yeah. Ahead. Yeah, I would. That's a game I'd love to be able to get one day for sure. Oddly enough, and I, um, you know, eventually, I think we were talking about expensive board games at one point. 
But, uh, yeah, months ago, yeah. I thought like games like Dark Tower and um, you know Star Wars Queen's Gambit were expensive and stuff. And then yeah, uh, uh, my friend Bob from the AGPI told me about this auction that was going on, an online auction where this guy was basically selling all of his games. And some of these games were like over 100 years old. There were some games that sold for $20,000 because they were rare, really rare. I'm um, like, I thought Dark Tower was expensive, but if you're spending like ten, twenty thousand dollars to get these games, because they're really old, there's like maybe two left. Well, for what game though? There was one called Bulls and Bears, and that one was from, I think, the 1900s, and then another one. Uh, there were a few that sold for quite a lot of money. I think all, I think the cheapest one sold for about 700 bucks. And this guy had about 300 games that he was uh, selling. So he probably, yeah. made, uh, I, I don't know, I, I think he probably made close to $200,000 <clears> just selling these games. Wow. Um, I think, I mean, I don't know. I try to butt my tongue, but, like, I think a lot of times I feel that they got to sell it at that price because nobody's really buying, you know, board games that much. You know, like um, it is it is big now, you know, since a long time. But, you know, and we've come a long time to, to see this, you know, big epic thing with board game hypes, you know. But um, now he they probably feel that they could sell it for that price, you know, and just take the money and run. That's it. You know, it just it's a cash grab. That's a supply and demand thing, I guess. You know, well, um, yeah, that that too. And, you know, I know and uh, I know we're probably going to have to wrap up here in a couple of minutes. But I know Dark Tower, when I first got it, I got it, you know, and I had to get it restored. But it cost me about one hundred and eighty bucks. And then yeah. Yeah, Dark Tower came out. And the next thing I remember, someone was telling me the game was selling for like four hundred bucks now. Um, You know, I'm like, man. I wish I could like tell when these games are going to jack up in price. You know, sometimes you just get a game and the next thing you know, it goes up like 300%. No reason yeah. why. I'm not an expert, but uh, real quick, know, but, maybe, um, maybe this game is going to end up being worth $1,000 one day. You know. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we all wish, right? Yeah. Well, but guys, Matt, go ahead, Vinny. Sorry. Um, Valley, Lost Valley of Dinosaurs. To me, it's one of the games that they they dissect, and then they sell the price. They sell these the small pieces and parts separately, yeah. for like an arm and a leg, you know. But um, that's how I had to buy Hero Quest complete because I was never able to to win in the auctions on eBay, you know. And then um, right. I said, you know what? Instead of going nuts, you know, trying to like win the auction or you know, get the game when it's complete. Because by the time I would have the money for it, I would go to buy the game complete, and it was gone. You know, so <laughs> I just bought. An, I, I bought the game in pieces. I started out with the box and the board, with the insert, and then I started getting the dice. Then I got the figures. You know, so and then I got the cards, whatever. And then you know, slowly but surely, I just accumulated all the parts of the game that it was complete. And then, you know, I, I, I had the game. I like, I, I didn't, I didn't like go in like and grab it and go, you know, like, right. cause you know, sometimes you just can't do it, you know, but the same thing goes with Valley of the Lost Dinosaurs or, um, uh, Fireball Island, you know, Crash Canyon or uh tornado Rex forbidden bridge. Mm -hmm. Uh, any, any of those kind of style games, you know, sometimes they sell them in pieces and you just got to go for that. And then, you know, that's basically it. So, right. But if you could find it all complete a hundred dollars for that game, that that's, that's, I think 80 bucks to a hundred bucks. Yeah. That's like the low. I, I, I would grab it. Cause I remember years ago when I saw this game it was 50 bucks, mm -hmm. $30, $50, the most. And I'm like, dude, you got to grab that game, you know, and just just play it and review it. And I just, I never did. So, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> That's okay, man. <laughs> but um, the uh, last few games I got, uh, real quick, and then uh, 
I'll let you go. If you want a show on BGG, they have the um, the Funko Pop Jurassic Park game. Mm-hmm. That's um, it's adaptable to play with all the other ones. But um, did I do most of them? You might yeah, have. pretty much so. There's one way, one one. This this one's gonna be the showstopper. I'll be right back. All right, showstopping. I like showstopping. Oh man, they got like a, so many games for dinosaurs out. Very cool, very cool. All right, we'll wait on Vinny. Escape from 1 million BC. It's a Uh-oh. new modern style game, but it, it's it's fairly new. It, it's kind of old, but it's made from IDW games, and it's very plain and basic looking and, like, very bland. It's got, like, no seasonings at all whatsoever, but that's when the uh, players might be a little wrong because... The game is just as exciting as the cover looks. It may look like a plain game, but all you're doing, you're going around exploring, a lot of exploration, and you're trying to beat the clock and make it back to the time machine and, you know, head back into the future, you know, you know, the present day. But you're going, you know, way down into the depths and you got to return, you know, historical figures like uh, you got to return Abraham Lincoln, Teddy Roosevelt who've been pulled into the past by uh, rippling time paradoxes, all while racing against a volcano that's about to explode and obliterate your entire team. Hmm. So you're exploring, you know, the jungle, uh, prehistoric swamps while searching for valuable technology and avoiding dinosaurs. So it, it's a cooperative game. It's a, it's a really big fun adventure to play and uh, your time machine is um you know busted so you gotta fix it so you're just spelunking around the jungle and stuff trying to find all different things you know to fix the machine and get back to your uh time hmm. but um it it's great i i guarantee a lot of fun i heard a lot of good reviews about it and um there's a there's a couple of reviews about the game and it's a full gameplay but a lot of people even said it's plain. It looks really dull, but don't let it fool you. There's there's a lot of good, you know, big time game in this box. Very so cool. it, yeah, it it it's it, it's really fun. And then I got um the other Godzilla game from Ideal 1965. But you want to see that? Sure, we can make that our we can make that the last one. Sounds good. Okay. To me. Yeah, because um. That 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 pretty much wraps it up. We. Oh man. But the Star Wars, I think that that's pretty. Uh oh. Because when I was looking for the dinosaur games, I found a lot of Star Wars stuff. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, Godzilla, the ideal board game. It's the ideal board game for ideal board game players. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's it, it's simple spin and move, and what you gotta do in this game is you're just you know trying to make your way to the uh, radiation tower, the missile launcher. And uh, that's basically it. But you'll have to go back and forth, though, to the electrical fields if you miss. Um, mine didn't come with the wooden disc, but, uh, you know, I, I had to grab it anyway. So, But um, 
you can you can just get any wooden disc from like a craft store or something like that or a thrift shop or you can use a poker chip and uh just try to you know hit godzilla's targets over here and any of these three targets that you get it on will destroy godzilla and you win the game so you're just making your way all the way to you know uh the radiation place over here the missile launcher to fire the missile at godzilla if you hit him you win it, it's a real easy basic game but um I don't know. I like it. It's, to me, it's a lot of replayability because it's it's like one of the first dexterity games, you know, yeah. ever made for its time. So, I think that's cool, man. Thanks so much for showing us your collection. Yeah, you're welcome. Anytime, you know. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna say goodbye. But we're gonna do uh, a Star Wars episode next, and uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get Bernardo and Matt and Danny. You know, all of us on here uh, got a lot of great stuff. Yeah, work. we'd like to see you guys. Yep, we sure would. All right, guys. God bless you. We'll see you next time.